Too often we are our own worst critics. For me, this occurs in the mirror. This is called The Old Man in the Mirror. I talk with the old man in the mirror today. Every time we meet, there's an ongoing battle. He's almost always angry, a bit of a jerk who says the most hurtful things and is judgmental of all things pertaining to me. He says, Troy, look at yourself. You're a terrible mess. You're ugly and you look like you've been abused. Your face has more pits than a cherry grove and you're scarred all over. You're crippled and you stumble and fall. You have lived the life of a fool. You sacrifice your life for others who, do, who you do not know and who will probably never appreciate it. For all the sacrifice, all that is left you is broken and tired. You toil in the dirt to grow food to help people you don't even know. You've given love to so many people who will never love you back. You've been a sucker, a dum-dum if you will, who has helped others and been burned for doing so. Do you really think you can change the world? You can't change the world, you fool. What's in it for you? What do you have to say for yourself? He falls silent, and then it's my turn. Old man, I acknowledge your opinion and your observation of my actions and appearance. However, I have some questions for you. Are you blind? Have you no memory? Why are you so angry? You are correct in saying my face is more pitted than a cherry grove and I am scarred all over. But what you fail to see is that my stones are bigger than a peach and those scars are the product of the sacrifice that you see as pointless. I sacrifice because sacrifice is what I know. It's all I have ever known. I was born by sacrifice and I will probably die sacrificing. You say that I am crippled, and I stumble and fall. I am not crippled. Yes, I must wear prosthetic gear to help me function, and I may stumble and fall. But your head was probably turned, and you missed the fact that I rise when I have fallen. You say that I am broken and tired. I may be tired, but I am not broken. I am merely fractured, and my heart still beats. It is also true that I toil in the dirt to raise food to help others I do not know. I do so because I have known the pain of hunger from going without so that my children didn't have to. I have given love because without love the world is a dark, cold, and bitter place. I have helped others and even been burned for it because in my heart it was the right thing to do. You say that I am fool for believing I can change the world. I am not so foolhardy to believe that I can change the world on my own. I understand the world is an enormous place and I could never change it at all by myself. However, I also realize the world is narrowed down to those who I can touch and affect in my immediate area. For that reason, I give love, toil, and help wherever I can to make a difference. Fortunately, what's in it for me is not a question I ponder. You call me a sucker, a dum-dum if you will. Trust me when I say I'm not mad. I embrace being a dum-dum. Dum-dums are incredibly sweet. It is sad that you only see my wrapper that is wrinkled and torn. Somehow you miss the most important part. All my wrapper is a question mark that makes me a magical dum-dum. At the end of this exchange, I now understand the source of your anger. You lack the hands to get past my wrapper, so you can't see the beautiful treat that lies within. Thank you for telling me what I can't do that serves as my driving force. Stay in the mirror where you belong, old man. I'm heading out to change the world around me.